What's going on everybody? It's Flute from Winhanced, and today is a really exciting day. It's been a while since I've made a dev diary, and that's for very good reason. One, no, this project is not dead. And if you're not in our Discord, I can see why you would think that is so. It's been a while since we've uploaded. Um, however, in this dev diary, I really want to dive into what exactly we've been up to here at Winhance. Um, now, I'll call this out. There's essentially two versions of Winhance right now. You have the OG version, which is currently downloadable on our website and through our Discord. And you have the version that I'm about to show you now, which gives you a glimpse into what Winhance is eventually going to evolve into. So. I'm gonna go ahead and introduce you all to this new version of Winhance, um, which is our living glass update. Essentially, what I've been doing over the last month is really diving into the core asks of the people who have been testing Winhance, as well as what people have been saying online about it. And that is, Winhance is great, it's just been lacking polish. So this is all about polish and bringing in the true core features that everybody wants within the Winhance Unified Library. So first off, you'll notice this looks extremely different if you are currently running um, the current version of Winhance. That's because this is the Living Glass UI. So, what is Living Glass? Living Glass is a brand new UI aesthetic that I've developed for Winhanced, um, which takes the characteristics of your, your desktop background and completely customizes your UI experience based on that. So you'll also notice that within this, there's now sound. Uh, these sounds were created by my really, really close friend. His name is River Fox on Instagram. Definitely follow him. Um, you've heard some of the sounds already with the Winhance with our wake up sound and our sleep sound. But uh, with this version, I'm finally bringing in the navigational sounds as well, which makes me very happy. Along the lines of sleep and wake. Check this out, y'all. In the current version of Winhanced, you'll know it's very different. If you wake up the device, uh, we currently have a sleep animation that plays for about five to seven seconds because there's a lot of stuff happening behind the scenes in order to get the controller working again. Um, in Right now, at least, in this simplified version of the UI, that's no longer an issue. Things just instantly work, which is incredible. The other thing that I also wanna mention as well here is you'll notice if I go over to here, I have we have all of our libraries. There's another library here, which we'll talk about in just a second, um, but check this out. There's now much smoother animation overall. And you'll notice there's some grayed out games here. That's because uh, with this new version of Winhance, it's not just your installed game library anymore. Uh, for our supported libraries of Steam, Xbox Game Pass and Epic Games with more to come in the future. We now also show your uninstalled games as well, as well as with the ability to install those games. Uh, essentially, what will end up happening is if you have a game that is not installed on your device and you choose to log into your specific account, uh, we can show your owned library and give you the ability to install it by, and what Winhance will do is essentially deep link to that section within the app. Um, you'll see with Steam here, as soon as it loads and logs me in, uh, it's gonna open up the page and then take you directly to the install page, which allows you to go through and install uh, Winhanced into uh, the library, which I'm not gonna do right now because that'll take a while. It's, where does it go? <laughs> okay, sorry about that, y'all. Okay, so let's talk about that other library as well. Smooth animation. So to show you the next thing, we're actually gonna have to come over to my Z13. Now that we're over here on the Z13, let's go ahead and turn on the DualSense controller and I'll show you something else. So with uh, my Z13 here, you can see I have a different desktop background. So if we go ahead and load up Winhanced, you'll see Living Glass in action. So 
So this looks a little bit different than the version that you just saw. Okay, so let's see if we can get to not focus on my controller here or that glare. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice is Living Glass basically, like I said, takes your background image and takes the core elements of it and builds a theme based on it. Um, but the real reason why I came over to the Z13 right now is because I wanted to show you something interesting. First off, full touchscreen support. Second of all, and this is on the Ally X as well, full analog support, Ally X and handheld devices, I should say. And the other tab. You'll notice I have Apex Legends here. That's because we've built in the ability for our unsupported libraries for a user to come in and manually add .exe files so they can be added to this library to give anybody the ability to, to give everybody the ability to launch any game they want from within Winhanced. Hopefully this doesn't take forever. You'll also notice we have a brand new start splash screen. Um, everything feels more alive within Winhanced, which is something that I really, really love. That splash screen will show up. It'll have uh, to basically, while underneath of it, all of the processes are running to launch your game. And this works for all the different libraries within Winhanced. Uh, we know that it's launching, so I'm going to go ahead and close this because sometimes this takes a minute. There we go. If you close an app, it takes you back into the library and you can go right back to where you were. Okay, the last thing we'll talk about within, uh, within this as well, uh, on the Z13 specifically, is I want to show you all the new settings page. So we can go over the settings. And within this settings page here, you have uh, general libraries, controller, performance, update center. Now, this is the thing I wanna call out about the core difference between the version that's live and this version here. Since this version has been primarily focused on getting our unified library up and running as well as we need it to, right now, this version does not currently support our overlay. So, um, all of these sections here, um, don't actually have menus available for them right now. So the idea here is as we continue to build out this new UI, we're going to bring in all those missing menus. We'll navigate back to the library really quickly. There we go. Okay. So the settings page that I will show you all here is what we do have live right now is our library. And this kind of speaks to, which I'll show you on the big PC in just a second, uh, we actually give you the ability to sign in to your different uh, libraries, and that's how we get access to, or that's how you get access to uh, your own libraries, which you can install. I will say from a privacy perspective, we do not store any of this information anywhere on Winhance servers. We don't even really have Winhance servers. Everything is stored locally on your device, so you can feel comfortable uh, signing in without worrying about sharing that information. Um, I will also mention as well as you don't have to, you still get access to your installed libraries. It's just to get these extra features, you have to do that. Um, but we also have this other game section here. As you can see, we have my uh, Apex Legends game. Um, we can go ahead and delete that right now. And if we go back, oh, controller died again. If we go back to our library, other library, You'll notice that Apex Legends is gone because we removed it from the list. But if we want to go ahead and add that back in, we can go ahead and say Apex Legends. I recommend naming it uh, based on what it would show up as, as in like the internet game database or so IGDB.com so we can pull in the artwork. We are also going to add the ability to add custom artwork in the future. But for now, we'll just name it Apex Legends, find the game, add it. Give it a second or two, and that's how you add a manual game. Before we jump to the big PC, I want to show you the one final piece here. Uh, crap, I don't have an escape key right now, so i got to get this controller working. Uh, push back. Yeah, okay. The last thing I'll show you here as well, let's, let's just load up a random game, uh, Expedition 33. My favorite game right now. Um, you'll notice 12.9 hours, 
20 out of 55 achievements and actual working how long to beat integration. These have just been placeholders in the current version of Winhance other than total playtime. Um, but we have now integrated actual Steam total playtime and Steam achievements. And currently for our other libraries, the total playtime and uh, is based on your total playtime is based on like the amount of time you played within Winhance because these uh, the other APIs don't actually give you like the time played right out the box. I'm still working in the back end to see if I can still integrate something like that. And then obviously achievements is only working for Steam right now. But how long to beat integration is here. I'm so excited about that. I've always wanted, I love how long to beat. It makes it so much easier for getting through our backlogs. Okay, for the last little bit here, I'm gonna move away from the dying controller and show you some stuff on the big PC. All right, and now that we're on the big PC, the uh, last two things that I wanna talk about before we close this video out for today is Winhance now has an onboarding experience. Let me see if I can zoom in on this for you all a little bit. It's been asked a lot. People find the overall setup of Winhance can be a little bit confusing. So we are starting to introduce an onboarder. Uh, right now, uh, if you hit get started, um, it's just going to be in regards to library support. Um, so you, it walks you through the different steps for uh, getting all of your libraries up and running. Um, but once they are all up and running, you can hit continue. It'll show you the final screen. You can log into Winhanced. And the last thing I want to talk about is due to the current modular nature of Winhanced, we now have full support for not just AMD devices, but NVIDIA GPUs as well. That could potentially change depending on how we end up handling like TPU management and things like that as we build back our overlay. Uh, but for now, um, we are currently able to support Intel and NVIDIA um, GPUs and, and CPUs, um, as well as uh, the other thing to show here is full mouse and keyboard support. I don't have an arrow key, so I can't really show you on my keyboard here, but as you can see, blows up nice and big, and you can access your games on uh, living room setups now as well. Um, and then speaking to this, actually, um, I'd love to hear from you uh, what you think about next steps, because what I'm thinking is next steps for here is to obviously build back our overlay features, because that's a big core feature of the Winhanced app. But I kind of want to build it back in a modular nature, because right now, actually, I can probably show you this right now uh, within Winhanced, if you have the Winhance library running, you can still access things like Armory Crate and get access to your overlay and even access Armory Crate directly. So what I think I'm going to do, and if you guys agree, is I want to build every feature back into Winhance, but in a modular nature. And what I mean by that is give users the ability to pick and choose what features of Winhance they want to run. So the folks who want to run just the library can run just the library. And the folks who want to run the overlay plus the library and all the features that our overlay offers as well, they can turn that on either through the in-app settings or through um, the onboarding experience as well. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to show you some of the things that I've been working on personally when it comes to Winhanced. On the other version of the app, there's a lot more stuff going on too. Like we just we added in the, um, the instant sleep wake feature, and we've re like refined it and built it in strongly um, within the app itself, as well as on that WPF version of the application. We're going to be releasing the ability to do manual games through it as well. Um, however, through a slightly different method for now, um, we, we're going to be using like any game that's been added to like your Steam um, external or non-Steam game list, essentially. Um, but yeah, I'd love to hear from you. What are your thoughts on the Living Glass update and all of the work that's being done with Enhanced? Are there any features that are missing from this library that you definitely would want to see? Let me know down below. Um, but until next time, y'all, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.